Well, Beta. We're off of Sally, now Beta. Just flying through the names now. Now, the winds have gone up to 60 miles an hour, but as I'd mentioned earlier, that's because the initial estimate when Beta was declared of 40 mile an hour winds, it was all based on satellite data, which isn't as reliable. So once the hurricane hunters, after the storm was named, were able to investigate, they found the winds were stronger. So it's not as though it just exploded in strength and it didn't just zip along. We've seen the center kind of reform more in line with where the storms are, as we were showing you, and even though the new center is a little bit closer to most of that thunderstorm development. It's not exactly right in the center of it. It is still getting sheared away toward the northwest or toward the northeast, and that cloud cover and rainfall is moving over us. The forecast steering for at least the next 48 hours is pretty certain. It's going to be moving north thanks to an upper trough that's deepening, shifted off to the west because of a ridge that'll be building in. That's also going to be the opportunity for strengthening as it approaches the Texas coast. Coast. Still a big question mark as to whether or not it moves inland. That will really more or less impact the uh, uh, effect, the impacts of southeast Louisiana, because obviously inland it's weakening a whole lot faster by the time that rainfall gets to us. But if it stays along the coastline, it has a chance to maybe maintain that strength. However, notice even though the Hurricane Center is indicating that it will stay offshore, they do have the storm weakening as it makes that northeasterly track. I'll explain that in a second. Upper trough right now across Texas. This is actually the upper trough that started to move Sally farther away and kept it away from southeast Louisiana. And now all that rainfall is just off of our coast because it is getting steered away from the center of Sally. So we're still getting the clouds and rainfall associated with it. Also some very dry air. One trough here, another trough that is deepening south. It's this and that steering current from the southwesterly flow that's helping to guide Sa uh, Beta along right now. Upper trough is pushing our cold front on through and drawing the storm northward. Once the trough moves away, an upper ridge starts building in. That begins the turn toward Texas, and an upper ridge aloft also allows for further development. After the ridge moves away, another trough. Now, this is by the middle of the week, but what an upper trough is going to do, not only turn beta toward the northeast, it also creates wind shear, which will help to start weakening the storm. That's why as it does move in our direction, it should be as a weakening system. Euro and GFS are not in agreement quite all that much with Wednesday afternoon timing of the Euro inland already as it moves into Louisiana. The GFS kind of holding it along the coastline before reaching southeast Louisiana. At this time, it still looks as though rainfall is going to be our primary impact along with some coastal flooding because of an onshore flow. Rainfall totals, this is the estimate as of right now. I'm not even really pinpointing this at, the, at this time, just because it is far too soon to know how much rain we're going to see. 